it's Nancy here. Today I'm making some tulips and they're going to be birthday cards and they're I'm using the three layered embossing uh, method to put these cards together. So it takes um, three pieces of white cardstock and three pieces of colored cardstock and they need to be cut in a graduated method and I'm going to list um, the sizes that I've used for this particular card. So I've done a number of these in various colors and um, I'm going to show you how to put one of these cards together. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to run the white card stock through the um, Big Shot machine in an embossing folder. And, and I'm using this tulip folder which is made by Darcy and you take these pieces of cardstock and you center them one inside the other and then very carefully you put them inside the embossing folder and you have to be careful not to move the cards once you get them in there. Then you just lay it down through your big shot machine or whatever cutting machine you're using and you um, roll it through your big shot. And I'm going to show you now how I'm going to color it with distressed ink. And I'm going to use a variety of colors for these flowers, but for the first set that I make, I'm going to use these distress inks. I'm going to use this ripe persimmon, the salty ocean, and the mowed lawn. So I've got some little um, dabbers here, and it's very simple. You just take each of these, the white cardstock, and lay some color down on them. So I'm going to start with a green, and I'm going to start off the mat and just do the bottom part of the the stems. And you can do it as light or as dark as you like. Um, not that much of each of the individual cards is going to show through. I'm going to do all of the greens when we get them all layered and stacked um, you only see pieces of them. Distress ink just lays down so nice. It's so nice to work with. So now I'm going to move on to the um, ripe persimmons. Get a mat and wipe that down. When I start filming these videos, I try to make sure I have everything that I'm going to need out, but inevitably something goes missing. Okay, so now I'm going to put the color down of the flowers. And again, you can make it as light or as dark or or give it kind of a, a shaded appearance, just whatever you like. These cards are nice because they go quickly, um, but yet they, they look really nice. They look like you spent a ton of time on them. And then the last layer I'm going to do is make it look like there's a little sky on these. And I'm going to use the Salty Ocean to do that.
I'm just rubbing it down good on each end and back down through the middle. Alright, so I'm going to clean up just a little bit here and then I'll show you how you assemble these cards. I take the runner out and I'm going to start with I guess the smallest and I'm just going to put some tape on the back of each of these pieces of cardstock and then just carefully lay it down on the black cardstock so I've got some some overlap We're just going to assemble each one of these, stack them up on top of each other, like so. And there you have the assembled package. Now I'm still working on birthday cards, so I'm going to use this, this happy um, sentiment. And what I did with this is I cut it out of with my silhouette. I've got a, a video up that I'll link to on showing how I set, cut these out. And I just used some glossy accents on the top. So then this is all ready to go on top of uh, a card and ready to give to somebody. So I hope you enjoyed watching this. I sure had fun making it. And if you like my videos, I hope that you'll subscribe. And I'll be back soon with another video. Thanks for watching.